Huh. I wanted to present to you my van tour today, so that's not going to happen here, so I'm going to drive off and have it somewhere else. But if you stick around, you will find out what the compañeros gave me as a farewell present. Stick around, I'll show you after the intro, which I built myself. See what I did there? It's my And if you want to know what these uh, builders at Barcona Beach at the football stadium gave me as a present, then buckle up, tie your football shoelaces and have a look. I think I could stay here forever. But I'm not gonna, because I promised you one thing, and that's the van tour, and I better get going. Don't want to. No, I really don't want to. Well, hey, for you, let's do this. Okay, off I go. <laughs> But first, uh, I think this is my favorite spot in the van, to be quite honest. You know, according to German law, you have to have an emergency exit in a van or in an RV. So this is my favorite spot here. Um, I sit here all the time and drink my coffee. And my other favorite spot is the emergency exit. So, it's time for the van tour. Uh, well, I drive a Ford Transit Custom 2012 with about... I bought it when it... Dean, he's not an it. When he had 122,000 kilometers. So, um, not a... like me, not a young whippersnapper anymore. It's a short wheel base and very low height as well, as you can see. Now, I don't know if, um, if in America the measurements of a Ford Transit are different, but uh, mine is only, and I looked it up again because I couldn't believe it myself, mine or Dean is only 4 meters and 89, 4 meters and 89 long. So I've got this whole livable space are under five meters which means basically i can park anywhere especially in cities uh just normal car parks um even underground parking is no problem because my dean is just about two meters tall or high uh even with the solar panel which adds like an inch or two um i think i still can get under any six feet two meter uh restriction area now my home, my casa es su casa, which I've been told by my Spanish teacher, it's casa. Mi casa es su casa. It's divided in, let's say, three areas. The kitchen area. The living room slash bedroom area. And then what I would call the wardrobe, closet, storage area. <laughs> Though I'm not much of a cook, I'm going to take you to the kitchen area first and I'll walk you through um, anything that springs to mind. And if you've got questions afterwards, because I don't want to make this video a too long a video. So if you've got questions afterwards, then please uh, write them in the comment section. Come to the kitchen. Mm. 
Now, since the van is only two meters high, that means I don't have standing height. Uh, that is a bit of a problem in a kitchen while putting on your pants, to be quite honest. So I found a solution. I employed somebody. I asked somebody nicely and I paid for them um, to build in a pop up roof. They couldn't do the whole van. So they just did this kitchen area and I'll demonstrate that uh, to you now. And as you can see, it makes life so much more bearable. Me as a shorty, I'm five foot seven, by the way. Me as a shorty, I still have another, well, let's say um, 20 inches on top of me. So um, I'm happy with this solution. Um, so now I can demonstrate the kitchen to you. Now, what does my kitchen have? Well, it's got the basics, basically. I'm not much of a cook, let's be honest. So it's got the basics. The the camper heater on gas on little cartridges which uh, are kind of inexpensive and they last me for making my coffee kind of a long time of course it's got a kitchen sink i have this cutting board out of uh, wood which i like and which gives me some extra prep space and the faucet is connected to a diver's pump in the under cabinet storage I'll show you that in a minute I think that's kind of about it for the kitchen oh of course I nearly forgot every kitchen needs an IKEA spice rack and I have two I don't use them for spice racks I mean I really don't cook or I can't cook I, I can cook but it's very limited in the stuff that I make and one day I'll make you a video the foods that I do prepare in, in my little kitchen here, but um, not today. So here's a little tip. When you construct something, always keep in mind that you then have to work around the space. So I didn't measure anything. I just built the cabinets. And then afterwards I realized that no Dometic fridge would ever fit in my space. So that's why I went for Mestic. Uh, it's got a 50 liter compressor fridge, 12 volts, and it does the trick perfectly for me. In the second cabinet is the fresh water tank, which is in my case 30 liters. And I have a gray water tank of only 10 liters. That is kind of enough for me. And there's still some more room to house like the pots and pans that I need. And to be quite honest, I only have one pot, one pan. Um, like I said, I don't really cook a lot and I'm trying to lead a rather minimalist life. So I try to have just one or two of everything, like two cups, two plates, two knives, two forks. You get the drift. Apart from the coffee makers, I have about three of those. The third cabinet is kind of the junk cabinet, so where I throw everything that I just don't want to see. So I'm not going to show that to you either. As you can see here, I also have a backup power station. It's an EcoFlow River Max, and it charges on both uh, solar panels, which I have uh, stored uh, in the front seat. And it also charges through my cigarette lighter at the front of the ca cabin.
Then we move on to the bedroom living area. Now, as you can see, that consists of like uh, th three parts as well. One houses all the electricity. It houses my um, AGM battery. I didn't go for a lithium battery because of uh, finances, basically. So I opted for a cheaper AGM battery, which is only 100 amp hours. Uh, I've got also the MPP3 charge controller by Victron, which regulates the solar power that gets into the battery. At the moment, actually, that works well, but I've been told by an expert that my AGM battery plus my solar panel, which is only 100 watts, is just not enough to operate both a fridge and a diesel heater. So I have to think about an upgrade in that sense, which I will look into once I'm back home. In the second part of the living room bedroom is um, it's the private place the toilet nobody talks about the toilet so I'm not gonna talk about it either it's not romantic it's um, it's it is what it is so that is the second bit and the third cabinet it is a pantry, it's a toolkit, it's got my uh, vitamins um, sorted from A to Z. And then over to the other side, let's put it that way, is the storage slash wardrobe area. As you can see, it consists of two hanging cabinets and two drawers and one big closet. In the closet, I work with baskets all my clothes are nicely folded into in well i'm trying to fold it nicely and um, that way uh, i don't take up too much space uh, the drawers are typically a sock and a underwear drawer and on top we've got the hanging cabinets which are just for food storage and one of the doors of the hanging cabinets um, I use as a TV stand for my laptop so in the evening when I want to be entertained by YouTube or some other channel that I can um, reach when, when I'm picking up a free Wi-Fi signal somewhere then I just uh, put my laptop on there and watch uh, watch a movie or watch some some videos And then I still have to show you how I turn the living area into a bedroom area, which is not that complicated, to be quite honest. 
as you can see there's an elastic cord which I just have to loosen and then the mattress part just uh, comes down I, I have to admit I sleep on a tiny mattress which is only 196 centimeters long and 70 centimeters broad so it is just like a, a, a single bed in that respect I opted for like a hard foam mattress so um, it really is good for my back and I really sleep well and when I go to bed I can also lower the blinds I have blinds and uh, I can make it as dark as uh, necessary so I can have a good night's sleep It's still kind of chilly here in the evening. It's been quite a day, uh, so I'm exhausted. I hope you uh, liked the van tour. I haven't even shown half of it, I think. So if you wanted to see more, then please leave a question or a comment in the comment section. Uh, if you want to know more about me, I'm sure here and there are clickable links. So, hey, click away. And otherwise, I'm just going to wish you a good night and um, promise to see you next week here at the same time. Looking forward to it. And now, bye-bye. <laughs>